Headstock. The headstock is at the top of the guitar. This is where the tuning pegs are housed. Many bass guitars have a distinctive straight neck and no head, which separates them from traditional guitar. Tuning pegs. The tuning pegs are on the headstock and controls the sound you will hear from the strings. You can adjust the tone of the strings to make it tighter or looser. The nut. The nut is the place where strings contact the guitar in between the neck and the headstock. You will see a rectangular block which is the nut. It has spaced grooves which holds the strings. Neck. The neck connects the headstock to the body of the guitar. The neck tends to be about 34 inches long, although this can vary according to manufacture. Fret board and frets. The fret board is a piece of wood that lay on the face of the neck. Mounted on the fret board are small metal blocks evenly spaced along the length of the neck. These metal blocks are called frets. Inlay. These are little marks on the fret board. This serves as a quick reference where you are on the guitar. Body. The body of the guitar is the biggest and the most distinct area. However, the only function is to provide a mounting point for the other parts of the guitar attached to it. Pickups. The pickups are mounted on the body under the strings. It contains a magnet which helps convert the vibrations of the string into electric voltages that can then be converted into sound energy. The truss rod. The truss rod protects the guitar from bending out of the shape due to tension of the strings and pressure. The guitar can often bend at the neck. Never attempt to adjust the truss rod. Lastly, we have the bridge. The bridge is at the bottom part of the bass guitar and is where the strings are anchored into the body. The bass unit is usually metal with the strings attached securely to it.